Hello and welcome to the earnings update of Muthoot Finance for the financial year 2018 quarter 3. This quarter has been a watershed quarter for the Muthoot Finance. The total group assets under management has crossed 30700 crores which is a record breaking AUM for the company. Along with this the profit after tax for this quarter has also crossed 460 crores this is the highest quarterly profit reported by muthoot finance in its existence along with this the directors are pleased to recommend a dividend of rupees 10 per share which is a 100% dividend for this year as an interim dividend i am sure This performance of the company reflected in its AUM growth as well as in the profit has also been transferred or shared with the shareholders through a good and better dividend. I am sure with the support of all the company will continue to do better. The subsidiaries of Muthoot Finance are also doing well. The home finance which is a subsidiary which was started just 2 years back has crossed the assets under management of 1100 crores in this quarter this is also a record breaking achievement for which the support and the contributions given by all is certainly to be reckoned with here also the profit after tax for this company has also exceeded the expectations and it is at a record level for this quarter the other subsidiary which is the bell star finance has also done well they have also crossed the assets under management of 945 crores in this quarter this is almost a double of what the assets under management was a year back This company has also done well. Its par has been has been kept under control and there are many lo- many other plans for taking this company forward in the days to come. The insurance subsidiary, the Muthoot Insurance Brokers has also done well and all going well, they should be able to reach 6 crores of profit after tax. for the end of the year the sri lankan subsidiary the asia assets finance has done well but certainly the political uncertainty and also the economic economic scenario in sri lanka which is not looking bright has been a dampener for the company although there is no degrowth the growth has been muted but going forward this should also do well presenting the performance highlights of muthoot finance limited and its subsidiaries for quarter 3 financial year 2018 the consolidated loan assets of muthoot finance and its three subsidiaries involved in lending business stands at rupees 30712 crores at the end of q3 financial year 2018 against rupees 28005 crores as at the end of q3 financial year 2017 registering a 10% year on year growth in assets under management the core gold loan assets under management of muthoot finance stands at rupees 28097 crores at the end of quarter 3 financial year 2018 as against 26902 crores at the end of quarter 3 financial year 2017 registering a year on year growth of 4% muthoot finance earned a profit after tax of rupees 464 crores in quarter 3 financial year 2018 compared to rupees 291 crores during the same quarter in financial year 2017 this is a whopping 59% growth in profit after tax year on year for quarter 3 and the highest quarterly profit on record for the company 
Thanks to the robust Q3 profit growth, the company has declared a 100% interim dividend at Rs 10 per share for the benefit of its investors. The capital adequacy ratio of Muthut Finance stands at a healthy 27.65% of risk-weighted assets. The company's success is hugely dependent on its skilled and groomed workforce. Employee strength stood at 22,933 at the end of quarter 3 financial year 2018 as compared to 24,150 at the end of Q3 FY 2017. Now on to the performance highlights of Muthut Finance subsidiaries. Asia Asset Finance Sri Lanka became a foreign subsidiary of Muthut Finance in December 2014. As on December 31, 2017, Muthut Finance holds 60% of their total capital. The loan assets under management of Asia Asset Finance stood at Sri Lankan rupees 9,746 millions at the end of Q3 financial year 2018 compared to Sri Lankan rupees 8,560 millions at the end of the same quarter in financial year 2017, showing a year-on-year -year AUM growth of 14%. Muthut Home Fin India Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of Muthut Finance Limited. It is a housing finance company registered with the National Housing Bank. Muthut Home Fins loan assets under management stood at Rs 1,100 crores at the end of Q3 financial year 2018. This compares with Rs 204 crores for Q3 financial year 2017, showcasing a remarkable 439% growth year on year. Muthut Home Fins profit after tax for Q3 financial year 2018 stood at Rs 8 crores compared to Rs 90 lakhs for Q3 financial year 2017. This again is a substantial 790% growth in profits year on year for Q3. Muthut Home Fin has a customer base of 11,571 customers as at the end of Q3 financial year 2018. This is a substantial year-on-year -year growth of 590% from just 1,678 customers in Q3 financial year 2017. Muthut Insurance Brokers is a wholly owned subsidiary of Muthut Finance and offers full service insurance broking services by distributing life and non life insurance products of various insurance companies. In Q3 financial year 2018, Muthut Insurance Brokers collected total premiums of Rs 21 crores. This compares to a collection of Rs 14 crores 80 lakhs in Q3 financial year 2017, registering a 47% year-on-year growth. The profit after tax of Muthut Insurance Brokers for Q3 financial year 2018 stood at 2.5 crores against Rs 1.4 crores in Q3 financial year 2017. This is a year-on-year -year growth of 78%. Bellstar Investment and Finance Private Limited is a 65% owned subsidiary of Muthut Finance. Bellstar is a RBI registered microfinance NBFC with 215 branches and operates across the states of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Kerala, Odisha, Pondicherry and Chhattisgarh. The gross loan assets under management of Bellstar stood at Rs 945 crores as at the end of Q3 financial year 2018 against an AUM of Rs 453 crores for Q3 financial year 2017. This is a year-on-year -year growth of 108% in AUM. Bellstar's profit after tax for Q3 financial year 2018 is Rs 9.7 crores compared to a Q3 financial year 2017 PAT of Rs 2.3 crores, registering a 322% year-on-year increase in profit after tax. The company, Muthut Finance and its subsidiaries have done exceptionally well last year and this quarter especially. And I'm sure 
by god's grace it will continue to do well i should take this opportunity to thank all the staff of utuj finance and its subsidiaries and also all the customers who are the pillars of support for the company and also these other stakeholders bondholders shareholders banks and all others who support the company in its growth trajectory i'm sure all will continue to give us unstinted support and from the on behalf of the company we will try we will put in our best efforts to see that the company continues its good performance in the quarters and the years to come thank you good day